Mm, 12, 15. Oh my God. All right, folks, so these problems, it's division distribution, which we've seen before. It's just a bit more complicated because what we're essentially going to be doing is turning this big monster problem into three mini problems of what we did yesterday. So what I want you to write, actually, let's go ahead and just draw a line here because this is where we really start shifting gears into the division land. This is our first type of division, which we call division distribution. We can only use this for dividing monomials. Divide, let's say dividing by a monomial. So division distribution only for dividing by a monomial. Monomial, one thing, one chunk. So how many chunks do I have on the top? Huh? What? One and two and three. So three separate chunks. I've got a three term polynomial. What separates the chunks? Addition and subtraction. How many chunks do I have on the bottom? Just one. That, my friend, monomial that I am dividing by. So we're sort of doing what we did in the quadratic formula at the end, where if I have two terms on the top and dividing by one thing on the bottom, we're going to divide each of those things on the top by that bottom number. So I'm going to take 6x to the fourth y cubed divided by 3xy. Then I'm going to take 12x cubed y squared divided by 3xy, and then minus 18x squared y over 3xy. So every one of those chunks on the top, I'm going to divide by 3xy. So what I'm doing is I'm breaking this big monster fraction down into three individual fractions, which I will be able to simplify separately. So let us see what we remember from yesterday. Hey, what's 6 divided by 3? 2. Two. Two. Very good. <laughs> what's x to the 4th over x? Take an x out of both of those and we're left with x cubed. What about y cubed over y? Take a y out of both of those, we are left with y squared. 12 divided by 3? 4. Four. X cubed over X. X squared. Take a Y out of both of those and we are left with Y. So 2X cubed Y squared. 4X squared Y. And then minus 18 over 3 is 6. Take an X out of both of these and we're just left with X. The Y's cancel. So minus 6X. Hey, can I simplify that any further? No. They are not like terms at all. They've got the same variables. Well, this one doesn't have a Y, but all different powers. So these are different, and that's as far as we can go. Now, I'm not going to require that you show the split work like this, but it is highly recommended. So I'll show you how to not show the work for this, but you do need to really be careful, especially when you have lots of variables and lots of powers here. So if I wanted to show less work here, first, how do I identify this as division distribution? Because I am dividing by one thing and I have multiple chunks on the top. So I'm going to take the first chunk divided by this bottom one. Folks, what's two divided by two? One. We don't have to put the one there. What's x squared divided by x squared? Also one. What's y cubed over y squared? 1y. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. What's z divided by z cubed? Can we take a z out of both of those? Yeah, and then we'd be left with z squared on the bottom. So because this is z1 and this is z cubed, I could take a z out of both of those and that leaves me with z squared on the bottom. 
Do you guys want to show work or not show work? No. Okay, let's let's try it with the next one then. So that completes our first chunk. Wait, no, I want to show work. So if you wanted to show work on this one, we would have 4x cubed, yz4, over 2x squared, y squared z cubed. You don't want to show that work. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. x cubed over x squared leaves me with a x. y divided by y squared, 1y on the bottom. So I'm really just taking out GCFs of those variables. And what I'm left with then is 2 x z on the top over y on the bottom. Let's go ahead and bring down our work over here. On your own, try the last one. Try the last chunk. <laughs> I feel like this is the first time we've had the sun out in a while. It's kind of nice. Here's my meme for you. I did that last time. <laughs> All right, folks, so we've got negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Make sure you've got that minus sign there. x over x squared, we've got an x on the bottom y squared over y squared, no more y's. z squared over z cubed, we got a z on the bottom. How'd we do on that one? I got it right. Pretty good, Masamanos? All right, so that takes us through division distribution. So here's what we are going to do next. We're gonna do some more practice together in the blue packet, and then I think we'll do the homework quiz today, just to see, just to see where we're at with stuff. And because tomorrow's an early on, I don't know if we'll have time. So we're going to do a lot more practice first and just kind of putting it all together from the stuff that we did yesterday. So take out that blue packet.